Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. We're in my hangar here in Orange County, New York, and we're going to take 2183 Alpha for a flight down to Sky Manor in New Jersey. So we'll see you inside the airplane. Stick around. Hope you enjoy the video. Traffic Operations Eagle clear, 422 Orange County. 2-4 at 0. Well, hey folks, welcome back. We are in the Mooney Ovation, uh, November 2183 Alpha. Um, first video, in-flight video. We're going to Sky Manor to do a couple of things. Um, clouds are about 3,500, supposed to clear up. Um, I'm surprised they haven't already, uh, but we are going to be VFR. Um, so just going to Sky Manor. November 4-0. So let's get to weather. E zero zero zero. Remarks. Density altitude minus 1,600. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1259er, Zulu. Wind 240 at 07. Visibility 10. We'll take 2 2. Sky condition overcast 3,200. Temperature minus 02 Celsius. Dew point minus 04 Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero zero. Wow, three zero zero zero. Density altitude minus one thousand six hundred. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation one two five nine er Zulu. Wind two four zero. All right, we got the weather. Thanks, buddy. Problem, sir. Uh, great guys here at Orange County. So we're going to attack the 2 2. We're on Echo, making right on Charlie. And then basically a straight out, and then we'll use 2 5 down there as long as the winds are about the same here. Chris, once you're up there, could you give me a pyre up at uh, pattern altitude? Sure thing. So the Mooney Ovation is an awesome plane, to say the least. Uh, I finally have gotten used to it um, compared to the C model. Um, so when I was flying a Grumman Yankee, a two-seater, uh, going to the Mooney uh, Ranger, the C model, it was a lot to get used to the speeds, it was like, you know, 40 knots faster and stuff like that. So, um, and then from the C model to this, uh, probably about another 40 knots faster, uh, 30 to 40 knots faster, depending on altitudes and stuff of that nature. Um, so I get used to that. <laughs> Plus the plane is about 800 pounds more, so it's heavy on the controls, which I like, actually. Um, you know, so it's one of those transitioning periods, uh, but doing good. A lot of hours on it already, so. Just got the panel done. Adventures Aviation in Sky Manor. A couple little things I had to go back for if I finally get a chance to. Um, nothing major at all. So November 4-0, Adventures Aviation out there. The guys are pretty good. Actually, put really good, actually. Did a good job. Took a lot of old stuff out of this airplane. A lot of old stuff that was hidden 
like everywhere. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like stuff just laying around. This uh, useful load went way up. Okay, we're gonna do the checklist. I'm set up high. Jeez. Now let's see here. So I'm gonna do the checklist, guys. And I'm right back with you. All right, checklist is good. We're going to trim. Elevator trim for takeoff. Um, good there. We're full of fuel. 95 gallons this thing holds. Can you believe it? Um, rudder trim to take off. Flaps 10. Um, we're all good there. We have electric gear. No Johnson bar. I missed a Johnson bar. So that's complete. Okay. Navigating 2. Already at Orange County. November 4 0. Enter. There it is. And we're going to try to see if we're going to hit... Well, 2,500 feet is where you're supposed to be going um, towards the uh, southwest. That's kind of low for me, to be honest with you. So we'll go to... We'll see how it is there and climb up from there. But right, we'll bug 2,500 for now. Autopilot's awesome. I've finally gotten used to that. We'll use that. Um, everything else looks good. All right, we can taxi on over the runway. Two and easy, two, two. <clears throat> Orange County traffic. Anybody got a short base of final uh, for two, two? Orange County traffic. Uh, Mooney, 23 Alpha taking uh, two, two for departure. It'll be a uh, southwest departure. Orange County. Okay, laying lights come on, strobes are on, rotating beacon is on, we don't need nav lights. So we're all set there. Flaps and trim, looking good. Everything's in the green. Engine monitoring on this side for takeoff, I like it. Long runway here. Check out my sunglasses in the back seat, but that's alright. Alright, mixture's full rich, props will forward. Looking good, everything's good. Let's put some power nice and slow. Let's get a nice... And full power's in. Fuel flow's good. Looking for 70 to rotate. You got 60. Yeah, 70 close enough. Have the great brakes and get the gear coming up. Get out of the way, bird. Thank you. And trim down a little bit. And flaps coming up. Trim down. And a two two three heading. That's how the autopilot does. So autopilot with a nav, vertical speed will go up uh, about 800 feet per minute. A thousand feet actually. Ops, uh, Moody 23 Alpha, the top's about 3,000 at um, pattern altitude. All right, pull the power back. Way back. Flaps up, gears up. We are good. We're going to zoom in a little bit here. Going direct. 2500 is bugged. Let's we'll see what she does. And we'll pull the prop back a little bit. Go to 24 a little. Not going high. And 24. 22 and a half on the inches. Okay, laying like to come off now. 
That's basically it. Let's say at 25, it's at about 3,000. Very thin layer. And we'll reduce power. We'll go 24 in the RPM. And we'll go 21 on the manifold pressure. No sense of flying like a bat out of hell down there, right? So what I like to do, so we have a crosswind of 19, not sure how the cameras, it's my first time having the cameras in here, so I'm not sure how what they're looking like, um, did the best I could in the dark this morning. Um, I hope the audio works, because that would stink, I've never done that before. Uh, but anyway, so um, we have a crosswind of 21 knots, and we got about a tailwind of 9 knots, which is nice. So it's pushing us this way, so we're flying this way or yawling that way. So I like to, I have the yaw dampener on, which helps keep the ball center off. So I, what I like to do, to help the servo out a little bit, take the yaw dampener off. Let's go to yaw now. The ball's off center, right? I'm gonna use the rudder trim. To get the ball center, using the, trunner, uh, the rudder trim here. And then we'll lean it, stuff like that. So ball center, so I'll put the yaw dampener on back on, this way I can keep it so it's not working so hard against this crosswind. So now it's not working as hard to servo for the, for the uh, yaw damper servo. So now we're going to lean. Do about 65% power once we lean it, uh, 50 degrees lean a peak. See how it does. It's got Gammy injectors, which is nice. I installed that the last annual. Little bumps. Okay, it's over the top, coming back down. 50 degrees, looking for 50 degrees. About 50 degrees, lean a peak right there. And we're looking good. Ground speed to 164 knots. 150 true, uh, 151, 152 true. 150 is climbing now a little bit. So about 155, I typically get uh, true airspeed. It's low. Uh, 50 degrees, let's uh, lean a peak. And we're burning about 11 minutes. Radio check. 5 by 5 And we're burning about... 11 and a half gallons an hour. And that's what my C basically did. Um, the C burned about 11, 10 and a half, 11. Um, at basically 75% power the whole time. So we're all good here. Um, 53, 53 miles away. So I got the 750 XI. Um, I, I got rid of the other one. I, so I wanted the Smart Glide. But didn't realize you had to have the XI for the smart glide, which is whatever. Um, and uh, I like it. It's pretty cool. This airplane flies amazing. It really, really does. Uh, just wasn't used to it. It's, it's uh, how heavy it is, and when you're full of fuel, you're really heavy. And um, it just handles things nicely. Nice, pr nice cross-country plane. I don't know why my seat's so high. I don't know. I must have did that when I got in, raised it to the lowering it. Uh, but for me, the back seat, <laughs> it's freaking huge. I'm not used to it. Well, I'm used to it now. I had the plane for about a year. Um, you know, so uh, I'm used to it now. Passers like recline. Actually, the left seat back there is reclined in the back already. Uh, somebody was back there just sleeping, or just relaxing, I should say, uh, the other day, reading a book. So, um, Definitely a different airplane, for sure. So about 64% power, and that's uh, that's what it, that's what I'm at. I kind of like down low is fine. And I could do rich a peak um, and really push it and do 170 true um, this low, but what for? Yeah, so it's a really thin layer above, oh, but it's pretty good. 
Um, 30, 28 degrees out, so. Put the pedo heat on. Just in case, uh, a little, air is a little damp this morning. You might not see it, but you still could get icing. Even if not in the clouds, when it's cold out, there's some moisture in the air. Um, but this airplane obviously has fuel injection. So, um, uh, the will not get carb ice, which is nice. So the G3X Touch, vertical portrait on that side. Um, my OCD that I have when it comes to everything has got to be like policed. I don't like this cluster over here, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I wish it was more like my, my uh, C model, where everything was, I designed it where it was perfect. Things were um, a little bumpy over here by the ridges. It was perfect. When it came to everything was uh, measured and in the, pers in the spot that I wanted. Um, so, it's okay. Maybe in, in, a long, in, the, in the future I, I will mess with it, but right now it's fine. The little things, Chris, the little things. But definitely enjoying the airplane. Uh, six cylinder, IO 550. Um, it's a it's a beast. There's some ski. Uh, I don't know if I get this other camera. Uh, there's some ski spots open, um, but there's not a lot of snow yet this year. They're calling for snow. It's January 3rd, I think today. Yeah, January 3rd, and they're calling for snow this weekend here. Uh, we'll see how that how that goes. Uh, doing approaches in this airplane is great. Um, you know, to be quite honest, it took me like a good, I don't know, 15 hours or more to get this plane to where I liked the approaches I was doing uh, because how heavy it is and how much more, you know, 700, 805 pounds is a lot of down, as you're going down, you know, through an approach is that much faster and it's that much heavier. Um, so it's had a difficult time getting it slowed down, but now I know, like the C model, same thing. How to handle the speeds. I got speed brakes. Uh, awesome to have. You, you definitely have to have it. I mean, you, know, you can do things further away, slow down further away. You know, uh, you know flap speed is, is, is low in this airplane, so you can't really use a flaps like in a Bonanza or something. Uh, the gear is 140 indicated knots. Um, but when you're screaming downhill, you can't use flaps or, 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 uh, or gear to slow you down. Um, so you need, so you need speed brakes um, if you want to get down um, and not overspeed uh, a booty, especially uh, the, the long body and the mid body. Even honestly, sometimes the C model you needed to have some speed brakes that time. It depends what AT tells you. You know, um, you can't come down overspeeding, and uh, so speed brakes are all also awesome. Yeah, so I can see a little moisture, the sun's peeking through. I can see a little moisture out there, like a little bit of a haze. So, not a factor for us. Uh, that's why I just put the pedo heat on. Um, but yeah, she's an awesome plane. So yeah, man, that's that's basically the story here. Um, we're going to go to Sky Manor. Against uh, Adventures Aviation, they're at November 4-0. They have two locations, actually. I forget the other one is at. Go to our website, check it out. Um, they have some spots available. It's starting to clear up further we go south here. This uh, little layer above us is going away. Sun's peeking out to our left, to our east over here. Um, so, yeah, check them out. Awesome guys over there. It's a lot of work, you know. Um, Lucky even to find the plane when I did at a very weird time in my life to find this plane. So, I felt like it was meant to be for some reason. But here we are. <laughs> right? Here we are, folks. Took a while for some videos. I've been busy. A lot of other things going on. And, you know, it's, 
you know, just setting up the videos is the easy part. The hard part is when you go home and taking the, the discs out and, or not the discs anymore, the uh, cards out and uh, editing everything. And it takes a lot of time and effort. And uh, when, you're, when you're short on time and other things going on, um, it kind of took a break. Uh, but my Facebook page is always up. You know, um, Instagram. Instagram is approaching 3,000 followers. Thank you for that. But Facebook was always my main, my first starter. When I started doing this stuff and trying to promote aviation, especially GA. Um, 130, almost 134,000, I think I saw this morning. So thank you for that. Uh, so check out uh, Pilot Fun 11 at Facebook. Instagram on TikTok as well. I was in Key West. Bit of a business trip there. I uh, flew this down to Key West. Um, in March, I think. March, April, May. Maybe May. I think it was May. Uh, that was a cool experience in this plane. Uh, my first is my first time. Even before, before the panel, I went. I went down to Key West in this plane. Seven hours in the air, airtime, which is great. Uh, especially getting down to you know the lower end of Florida, you had to kind of curve around to go down. Um, Thirty-one miles out, twelve minutes. And. Uh, I'm going to start slowing down a little bit just because talk to you guys a little more. We're getting there quicker than usual. There you go. Um, that's my first time having an autopilot ever in the 15-ish years I've been flying. The first time ever. And that was at King's 150, which is on sale on, on eBay if anybody wants to look at it. Uh, it comes with the, um, uh, the pre-select for vertical speed and altitude, which is nice. Um, any, any altimeter, uh, uh, altitude indicator, uh, and a computer, all that stuff. My first time having autopilot, and it was amazing. <laughs> the autopilot, like, what am, like, what am I doing? Like, what do I do now? And you know, we don't have autopilot. You're constantly, you know, correcting for winds and uh, altitude changes and blah blah blah. And then, I did all my IFR training in uh, with no autopilot. In IMC, down the minimum, um, uh, which is nice to know. I do hand fly a lot. Uh, now that I know how to use this autopilot, uh, pretty much 95% of the time. Actually, 100% now. I'm pretty good at it now. I'm going to do more hand flying, but I'm still like to see how it all works and how it affects everything. Um, but man, let me tell you, going down to Florida and having autopilot, even if I flew the plane back from uh, Michigan, when I bought it, going back to Orange County, that had to do an approach, everything, the autopilot. I was like, wow, this is cool. Because it, it, it's not the fact that you're, you're a lazy pilot or, you know, whatever. It's the fact that uh, you can take kind of one thing off your off your stress level of constantly looking, especially when you get a route change. There's a couple times I couldn't take a route change because I was an IMC with passengers, and we don't have an autopilot. It's, you don't want to go up and down to your instruments and you know, rewrite your route. If you're banking, then you are might get disoriented. So a couple times, I had to stay unable and they give you vectors instead, which is perfect. ATC is always looking to help you. But with the autopilot, uh, it's an amazing tool to have uh, for us to be offered, especially this. It's amazing. So we are going to tune over to their frequency. I'm going to go to find. Look how easy this is. Find, flight plan. I'm going to go to November 4th here. Unicom is 122. We'll go in the active. And see what's going on over here. We're nine minutes away. So I'm going to start reducing power more. I've learned to start reducing. We're low at least. We're just not at 40. We should be at 4,500 to be honest. Uh, well, actually, 25 is fine with this direction. Um, it's even to plus fives. But for me, it's too low to be flying. That's just my personal uh, uh, um, option there. But I don't want to be in the clouds if I filed uh, to have icing problems. So, Okay. So we're almost to the airport, 23 minutes away. Can definitely tell I know the terrain. Everything's looking pretty good. Slowing down pretty nice. He's still doing 144. 145 true in knots still at 17, 18, and uh, over 2,400 RPM. So that's what I'm saying. This plane is, is fast. I'm not even going downhill. Uh, so let's see. That's what I was trying to tell you before. But we all get used to it. 
This plane is it for me. That is it. Already saving for an engine. And that sounds brutal. So we don't, the weather over there, we don't never never works right. Uh, the weather. Might fly over the field to see what the swim sock is doing, but I'm sure it's at. Uh, let me see at the weather. Let me see if I can get it. It usually never works. Flight plan. AWAS 122. 1 sorry. Yeah, it never works, right? We're close. Hold the home button down, it goes back to the map. 19 miles out. What I'll do is, I'll do the visual approach uh, when we get closer, and I'll head over. So we'll do the heading button again. Just for reference, uh, 250. And you can go down here. Hit for, uh, November 40, Sky Manor, uh, waypoint information, there's all your info. Frequencies, it's 56, 560 feet uh, elevation, so I will call 1600 feet is field level, uh, sorry, traffic pattern altitude. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fuel pump on, which is going to surge forward to put more fuel in the, in the uh, engine. And then switch tanks to the left, burn some of that off. We got some fields around us in case the transfer wasn't quite so well working. Fuel pump off. Perfect. So got good fuel flow. It's going to be departing from northeast for the Arnav on my two three below. Now it's clear. It's clear to the, to the moon and back. You can set this up to have your buttons, your, your um, like I have the approach button up here. That was pretty cool. All right, 15 miles, so I can do, I do 10 miles out. I should just do it now. So we'll go here, actually go to procedure. We're gonna go to approach, and we'll go to visual, to five, load and activate. Yep. To take us to the left, to line up to the runway. Nobody's out this morning. It is a Wednesday morning. And I can put it in approach mode, and uh, I'll probably get the glide slope. I should already see it. A little diamond. This is a great system. So, so far, so good. Alright, so we are 12 miles out, reduced speed. We're 140 knots now indicated, um, so we could burn gear speed. I'd like to get a little bit lower than that, just because. And to turn us inbound very shortly. About a four minute ETA. Yeah, it's hazy out there. Uh, went up to 30 degrees down, the sun. <laughs> Good. All right, landing lights can come on now. We already have the strobes on and the beacon lights on. And it's going to turn us inbound very shortly. Slowing down. We are in gear speed by five knots. Not flat speed yet. I hit the approach button to see what it does. All right, we're nine miles, eight miles. We're in gear speed. Let's drop the gear. Get it slowed down. Airport's in sight. Okay, we've got green. Two greens. And it's turning us inbound. And it's turning us traffic. We're 25, point out of Quebec, about five miles to the northeast. We're going to be joining the uh, RNAP for only 2-3, Doyle Town. 
Yeah, it's climbing traffic, uh, Booney 2183 Alpha is about 7 miles uh, for 2-5. Skyman. Okay, glide slope. Can be captured soon. Gears down. Mixture can come in. Prop pull forward. Clear. We're going to go down here, downhill in here in a few minutes. It's capturing the glide slope. We're going to keep an eye out. We're captured. Don't want to go down. I put the approach flaps in. Now we're going to gain some speed. Approach flaps are in. And now it's just managing the power. Now, pedo heat. We'll keep the pedo heat in just in case. I don't need to lose our airspeed. It's all damp going to come off. So gas. Undercarriage to greens, mixture, prop, speed. No boost pump on this airplane when you're landing or taking off, just for starting. Skybender traffic, uh, booty, 23 alpha, about four mile final, 25, full stop. Skybender. Full flaps brings the nose down and it trims up. So we got full flaps in. So watch our speed. And we hand fly it in now. Autopilot's coming off. And fly it in. So it works good. Doing good. Ninety knots. White red. Trim up a little bit more. Eighty knots. Looking good. Eighty two, eighty three knots, a little more power. Over these over these um Electric lines here. Here's down, one more check. Go sound traffic, quarter two five, four nine XX, uh, about ten miles out. It's gonna be straight in for runway two three. Go sound. Alright, look at that. Perfect. Nice. Save the brakes. It's a little bit faster landing this in the, the C model. Not much. Maybe about three knots faster. So it's not crazy. So we landed pretty good there. All right. Put the Pedal heat off. All right. Taxi light. It does run a little rich. Very little rich on the ground. Um, but it's okay. You lean it out. Because you need a lot of fuel flow to keep that engine cool in the hot day. So I burn typically 
about 26 ish, 26 and a half um, on takeoff gallons per hour. The, uh, my, the C model was like 17 on takeoff. So there you go, folks. Uh, first flight in the evasion inside the airplane. Uh, about eight miles to the twenty clear two five. So uh, everything, uh, the autopilot's great. Just nice to do that approach. A um, lot of good practice because when, you're, when, you're, when you are in IMC, it's nice to know your instruments and how they work and how everything works in case this it disconnects. You know how to hand fly it with your instruments up here. Uh, you didn't know how to know how to use the um, a G5. If you lose this, if you lose, so I got redundancy here, as you can see. Um, so, like my other plane, I like to have redundancy when you go glass, just because. Even though steam gauges could not work in flight, um, happens more than we know these days because those planes are getting a lot older now, um, and a lot of people are going to G5s or whatever because they're not sick of overhauling, or the overhauling these old instruments cost the same, uh, maybe a little bit less than putting glass in. So, that makes sense. To put glass in, not even you, have to, you don't even have to do this, but even a couple of G5s, or the 275 they have now. Um, it's pretty cool, so. Instead of overhauling all your instruments, that when you get them back, they can still break. Okay, guys, until next time, fly safe, be safe. You ever heard that in a while? I'm going to pull these guys, Avengers Aviation here, November 4-0, Sky Manor in New Jersey. And um, we are going to get some just odds, some of this little odds and ends done that we had to get done without dragging my feet on. So it's like, just we're so busy. Uh, remember guys, fly safe, be safe, um, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel, that would really be cool, and Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, obviously, and any questions at all you have with anything, don't hesitate, I still get emails with Dynon stuff, no problem, no problem at all, I'll do a Dynon video soon, um, comparison with this and Dynon, um, so pilotfunder101 at gmail.com, email me, no problem, I'll get back to you, um, uh, you guys know I get back to everybody, so, Thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the reverse trip, hopefully. Depends how long I'm here for. See you guys.